waka 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 what is cracking found my exit back here with another video welcome welcome i hope you've been well taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own today in the video we've got a battle between two of my favorite holiday sets we'll jump over to supplies grab them out and we'll meet you back here to rip in let's go we're back over this side again i've grabbed down the two etbs we need for today 151 scarlet and violet and crown zenith from the sword and shield era these are probably my two favorite um holiday sets from the most recent eras you know 151 clear favorite from Sc uh, scarlet and violet era when it comes to holiday sets like i mean paladin fates is cool but it's nowhere near a scarlet and violet 151 for me crown zenith um definitely my favorite from the Sword and Shield here are closely followed by Celebrations. Um, yeah, some tweaks in Celebrations that probably would have put it ahead, but Crown Zenith definitely takes the cake for me from that one. And then there's there's way more cool holiday sets once you head back to like Sun and Moon and XY. But we'll get these two bad boys back to the desk and rip in for the battle today. Crown Zenith and Scarlet and Violet 151. As I mentioned just before, two awesome holiday sets. Let's um, let's not mess around. Let's uh, rip in, get the packs out, and let's get it started. All right, we have our code cards. There you go, both code cards from each ETB. We have our promos that will not be counting towards the scoreboard today, but we will um, pop two scores up in the corner there so we can tally up. Who is our winner today from this battle? Try not to knock the camera over, but yeah, two promos. Who do you like the most, Lucario or Snorlax? Let us know in the comments. Um, and we do have nine packs v 10 packs. I, I was gonna add an additional pack, but it's not fair. I mean, like in Australian dollars, Scarlet and Violet 151 ETB is going for 100 around. They're actually harder to find now than I thought. Um, and then Crown Zenith, you can still pick up quite cheap for like 70 if you're lucky. 70 to that 90 range for an ETB. Um, so as I mentioned, we'll throw the scores up in the corner. We will got our packs here um, and we'll get into it, right? So you're both probably you're very familiar with these sets. We'll get two mantles out. That's what you need to do. All right. There we go. Pop them there. And we will get into it. We'll start with Crown Zenith as it does have the one pack advantage. We're not counting regular hollows as they are guaranteed in Scarlet and Violet era. We will go um, V's or better from Sword and Shield. And we'll go EX or better from Reg EX or better from um, Scarlet and Violet 151. We'll get there eventually. All right, first pack. Let's get into it. Let's get this battle kicked off um, again. Apologies, I am, you know, still kind of traveling a lot with work. Very busy heading into the end of financial year Australia time. So, you know, hopefully I've been doing justice with the content, getting it up. There's probably disruptions um, in between me filming these that I'm not going to be aware of when filming them. So, you know, don't even know when this is going up, but it should be to round out your weekend. Um, yeah, so happy Sunday to all those that uh, it is Sunday and happy Saturday if this drops at this regular time and it's still Sunday as we've got the first score on the board there for 151. It is just a Reg EX Arbok. All right, Crown Zenith. Yeah, so hope everyone's had a good weekend. If this, I'll just talk as though it is the normal timing that I would hope that this video is going to go up, but it may not be as it looks like we got something in this pack here. Oh, Crown Zenith. I love opening both these sets. Both these sets are awesome. Um, I really, really do like them. If you are kind of freshly back into the hobby, if you or, or new to the hobby altogether, definitely get your hands on some of these as we do have a double banger there. Nothing too special with the, the Skyscraper VMAX, but we do have a beautiful Hisuian Samurott V-Star um, from the Galarian Gallery there. So that's definitely going to be jacking up that um, scoreboard on the Crown Zena side to make this an interesting battle. Um, I do feel like these two sets would play f fairly evenly in the realms of like um, prices and stuff like that. Like obviously you can get dud ETBs and then that just ruins it for everyone, right? Like that's, that's going to mean that whichever set gets a dud. But hopefully we've got two banger ETBs here and we can have a fair battle. Um, 
and see some cool pulls. So some really nice hits from both of these sets. And as mentioned, if you are freshly back into the hobby, make sure to go ahead and get yourself a few of the packs from these sets because they are they're the dynamite. I really, I really rate both of them. Um, I really, really rate both of them. All right, there's no reason for me waving that on the screen at all, I promise. Um, but maybe, maybe there was. All right, we are back over to Crown Zenith. Trying not to knock everything over here and put stuff in the right places. Crown Zenith, what do we want to see? Obviously, obviously. Both of these sets, um, I have things that I, I want to see. Probably more so for me, the chase of... Finally pulling that Mewtwo from the Galarian Gallery from Crown Zenith would be the ultimate for me. Um, and I did put through an order with Amazon US. I'm in Australia, for those that didn't know, um, to Amazon... Howdy, mate. Yeah, uh, Amazon US for some Crown Zenith ETBs. They had like a promo on free delivery, free international shipping, and they were quite a good price. So, oh, we've got a five swirler. Mm, no, three or four. What am I doing with that card? So I ordered a bunch, but they haven't come and I think that I got stitched up. So hopefully, I don't think I got charged. So that indicates to me that they're not coming. Um, unless I have like a bunch of ETBs in a big box just turn up on my doorstep, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't, I'm not holding my breath, right? So my point being, Crown Zenith, if, I, if they do arrive or if they do fulfill the order eventually, uh, I got them for a pretty good price, so I'll probably put together, cook up a bit of a Mewtwo Chase video from Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith with all the hits so far, 151, this is really going badly. Like, when 151 Scarlet and Violet English 151 first came out, I opened a full ETB case, right? What do we got? Six left of each. There's still plenty of room to make. Maybe a demigod pack to come back. But I opened a full case of um, ETBs. If the OGs on the channel would have remembered. That was back in the old setup. We did it across two videos, I think. Five ETBs and five ATBs, or something along those lines. And we, we pulled five from, like, all of those ETBs. Um, and this ETB case was from the same batch of ETB cases I picked up. So we do have the full art Alakazam EX. Look, a little bit of a tease there. Definitely a SIR that I can pull is that uh, Alakazam SIR from 151. That definitely deserves to go in the mantle, by the way. And something to go into that scoreboard, but probably, I don't know. If I'm making assumptions right now, I'm still thinking that unless Samurott's dropped heaps in price, it's probably still Crown Zenith in the lead. Um, but I may be wrong. Anyway, if I do get that order fulfilled, I'll keep the jibber going. If I do get that order fulfilled, we will definitely cook up a bit of a chase video for that Mewtwo. I I'm over it. I need to pull it. I Look, I've pulled the gold Giratina now six times, I believe it is, and never that Mewtwo V. So I pulled every single gold, pulled every single card from the set, except for that Mewtwo. I do own it. You're all aware. I talk about it all the time. How much I need that Mewtwo. I really need that Mewtwo. I really want that Mewtwo. All right. So if order gets fulfilled, we'll put that chase video together. If order does not get fulfilled, then, you know, sucked into me. Well, on another note, I hope that those giveaways from earlier in the month, Licky Licky, oh, Mr. Mime, um, probably not even earlier in the month. I feel like, yeah, they would have been earlier in the month. They have arrived safely. Uh, might still be traveling for a bunch of you, or maybe my traveling meant that I didn't get them out in time. So look, all of the above, but I hope that if they have found your way, their way to you, that you are enjoying those prizes or giveaways, wins, um, some cool slabs and hits that we kind of shared there. And it's such a broad range of countries and places they went to. I think there was, um, let me see if I can do it justice to remember, like UK, US, Canada, um, New Zealand? No, I don't think it was New Zealand. Uh, Australia, of course. And yeah, just such a range of countries that we sent them to. Uh, but look, as mentioned in plenty of other videos, really do appreciate all the love and support. Um, and let me know, let me know what your favorite style of videos are, what you think we should do more of, less of. And of course, 
Let me know what your favorite holiday set is. For me, these are the two favorite holiday sets from Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet, respectively. Uh, if I go back even further in time, like Sun and Moon's tough, right? Sun and Moon is tough because it's got Hidden Fates. It's also got Shining Legends. Um, wow, did they did they do? How well did they do with the holiday sets from Sun and Moon era? Um, what else is there? There's some probably slipping my mind right now. As we do have a Zero Aura V. I thought that that was um, had some texture on it, but it didn't. Yeah, so let me know what your favorites are. Then obviously, if you go back to like XY era generations, like that's that's hard to beat from a holiday set. Really love generations. It's got a special place for me, as I've mentioned again plenty of times on the channel when we open generations which we have done recently so if you missed that video go and check it out um because i got back into the hobby licky tongue rapidash got the arcanine into the gold mu ex i have pulled this card a thousand times look don't get me wrong i love mu one of my favorite cards a beautiful beautiful card but i have honestly pulled this probably 15 times from uh, 151, and I've never pulled uh, the Mew uh, SIR. Oh, well, actually, in English, sorry, it's a promo, so you can't pull it anyway. It's in Japanese. So I haven't pulled it in Japanese, but there's I haven't pulled a Demigod pack. I haven't pulled lots of the other SIRs. I've, I've definitely just repeat hit. Um, does that mean there was batching in 151? I don't know. Maybe. Because, again, going back to that full case um, of ETBs I opened at the very beginning of when Scarlet and Violet 151 came out English, I did get a whole ton of gold muse. So maybe, 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 maybe. All right, quick, quick little check here. We've got two packs remaining on either side, and we do have... I feel like it's going to be, unless Samurott's holding high in value, I feel like it's going to kind of... I know that's not worth anywhere near what it was when the set came out, but... I feel like it's going to be very close in scores. Unless Samurott's like still up there in the 20s, 30s range, then it will be well and truly in CZ's corner, I believe. But I don't know. If it's dropped to like a $15 hit, sub 20, then I feel like it's going to be very, very close on the scoreboard. It could even be going 151's way, but we have another Galarian Gallery yellow border this time. Um, hit there from our second last pack of Crown Zenith. All right, second last pack of 151. Come on, let's see a Demigod pack, baby. Make sure you are smashing that like button. Help us, get, help us get out to more people so that we can grow and get more subscribers and rip into that 5K celebration as we do have my one of my top, top illustration rares from this set. The beautiful Pikachu illustration rare from 151. That is, um, look, I, I haven't... I haven't done my home, homework. I haven't checked prices recently in 151, but this was one of the better priced illustration rares. Not SIRs, obviously. It's just an illustration rare, but definitely one of the better ones. I love Mew, the gold Mew, but I'm going to put that in there over it because I think that it's going to hold a bit more value than the gold Mew. So now I am leaning towards saying that 151 is in the lead, but one pack left. It could all change with something big here from this last Crown Zenith pack. Should I open this last? How confident am I that 151 is in the lead? I feel like I'm pretty confident. I'm going to save Crown Zenith for last. I'm going to go back to the 151 side. We're going to back to back it here. And if I'm wrong with these scores, you guys can have a good old laugh and be like, you're an idiot. You should have definitely just opened Crown Zenith. But I've got a feeling and I think I'm right, but we will see. We will see. Let's see if there's any heat in this last pack of 151 to make it even harder for Crown Zenith to chase down that W. All right, we've got the Psyduck into the Flareon, non hollow rare, so no change to that score. Can we see it? Crown Zenith. A last pack magic. Let's see that Mewtwo to take us home and make us happy. There's the code card heading into the last pack. And as I was saying, yeah, make sure you help Help us grow by smashing that like button. Get our subscribe account jacked up to that road to 5K so we can open those celebration. Um, mystery box and 
Gu uh, Crystal Guardians pack, but it is just a reg hollow there. So look, the score is on the screens. You would have seen who the winner is, but for me, it's definitely 151. As much as I pulled that Mew a thousand times before, I love that Pikachu illustration rare. I do love that Mew and the Alakazam full art is um, an additional bonus to that. And from the Crown Xena side, it's really just this Samurott to show. So look, thank you all for watching. Please do smash that like button as mentioned, and we'll catch you in that next video. Take care of yourselves, and a waka 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 wa